We're seeing a Miguel versus a Katarina in here instead of the Shaheen. Yeah, like, you know, again, they know each other quite well. So Roger Maxis maybe suspected that he was going to throw out the Katarina and was like, okay, I might need to pick Miguel in this situation for potentially better punishment or something. We're going to find out here if it is the right choice, you know, to kind of shy away from your main character in order to counter pick. Actually, both of these players are not using their main characters here. Yes, but let's see what happens helps. here between Daniel Mardo and Roger Maxis. Let's go. I believe we have the name switched here. Yes. That is the... That is the Katarina outfit that Daniel Motto was using yesterday. Yeah, he likes this, this outfit. So, but, you know, one thing that I would say that Miguel has over the Shaheen yeah. is the damage output. And I remember joking a little bit when Katarina was first introduced and, you know, uh, Miguel had not been and it was an arcade. Katarina is kind of like female Miguel in the fact that this, her she dishes out a lot of damage very fast right here. But speaking of damage, another launch from Roger Max is taking it so oh, much of his life wow. bar and a big hop kick. Two rounds really fast. Yeah, two very, very quick rounds, you know, and this loses, you know, semi set. Loses. Oh my god. Look at the pressure. Look at the duck there as well. His knowledge of Katarina really, really strong here. Nice a little sidestep oh. duck to try to make the Harrier 4 whiff, but didn't work out. But now gets the wall position again. 1 2 1 plus 2 taking it. Challenging after the 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Yeah, finishes off the down forward one string as well. Nice Red. duck on the 1-2. Red the 1-2-4. Duck. Can we kill here? Yeah, is the it, wall. Is dead? No, just a little bit short. Couldn't get to the wall. Running the tackle and blocks the final slap, which would have killed the down four at the end. Takes it. Daniel Motto gets around on the board here. Yeah, really good stuff by, by Daniel there. Let's see if he can bring this back, though. You know, he's three, start, three. starting to warm up now as well. Sometimes you go into the game, you're you're a bit cold. You know, it takes a bit of time to, to warm up to the game style here. But Roger Maxis, you know, a bit more chilled out in this round. Yeah, I think like, it's really hard. You know, you don't, you don't want to rush it too much on a character like Katarina because you don't want to get counter hit. But then that leaves her open to just kind of get in. And when she's in, she's very hard to get off you, and she can do so much damage. Kind of like I said, matching the damage output of the Miguel. Yep. Trying to all stuff out yeah. the range drive, but big slap. Oh, but didn't drop the combo. The wall was oh. in the spot, and once again, that down four being fast enough to stuff out whatever the Miguel was trying to do. Yeah, and again, that, that was a big moment there with the drop combo, and now you know Daniel Mardo with the pressure. You know he's looking to take this, looking to make a comeback here. All right, just trying to take his time again. Like you said, you want you don't want to give the Katarina free reign, but then you don't want to make a bad choice and get counter hit instead by the four 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 or her down forward four. So it's like it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Yeah, exactly. But good punish on the three three three. Yeah, really nice one two there as well. When he can, I'm starting to see a little bit of why he's picked this character. When he can get into Savage, it can it's really good at controlling and especially at that maybe that rig. Mid range where a Savage 2 can just cover a lot of space. Mm. And then once you get into Savage, that's that yeah. Savage back one homing move and stuff can control. And it was looking, he had some two strong rounds, and then it was looked like Daniel Mano was going to make the comeback. But Roger Max is keeping it strong and taking that final game, final yeah. round for game one. Mm. I think something to take away from that is as well that, you know, Roger Max is when he was playing more, you know, offensive, it was working. You know, he started to back off a little bit, and Daniel Mardo, you know, started playing his game, started coming back, and then Roger Maxis went back to the offensive, and he and he took it there. So, you know, and he's looking at the coaching here, like, you know, he hasn't got any coach, no one telling him what to do. Uh, but Bambino there, you know, giving him advice, he's trying to listen in, you know, you know, this is a usual tactic we see, you know, over and over again, that they try to listen to what the coach is saying. Um, but it's always good, you know, to have someone there in your corner to see stuff that you might not be able to see and he gave him a kiss. He, oh, he gave him a kiss. He blew him a kiss there. You know, the, <laughs> oh, you know. Like, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> Shower them with love, right? Kill them with kindness. You know? well, I mean, like, like we were talking with Tetsu versus Joker. You know, yeah. like obviously the, all these competitors, all these players today are fiercely competitive and they all want to win. But you know, a lot of them are on pretty good terms of each other. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, after the tournament is over, it's usually just good vibes between a lot of them. Yeah, I, I think this is you know the the way to be. You know, in the game, there there is no friendships. You know, you do everything it takes you know, to win. But then when the game's over, you know, it's always nice to chill out here. And a really Harry. Harry bringing out the gin and showing why this is the character that he's known for. 
Just a little bit short, misses the wall, the clean wall splat, beats out the Savage down back three, and you saw a little bit of a, a little, you saw the eyebrows go up from Rogers, like yeah. a mashed right there, okay. <laughs> you press buttons there? Yeah, you want to press? Next time I'm going to get you for that. Yeah, everything is information, you know, nothing, nothing is truly random, right? Yeah. You know, obviously, people might make choices in the moment that surprise you, but there's always a reason behind it. Yeah, definitely a lock on the low and the launch, that 14 frame wall setting to something that the Katarina can't, does not have. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, we saw Daniel there, you know, perfect uh, punishment here. Now the pressure from uh, Miguel back against the wall using that Savage Shots. Good front break as well. The forward forward two there, the Hell Sweep, big risk, high reward, and the back two one to take it there. Really good stuff. Daniel Mardo is woken up, and again, you know, it begs the question, why did he not start with that Jin? I don't know. I was talking with Kawis yesterday. It feels like if you're a Jin main, you always just go through that phase, that sad boy Jin phase yeah. where you're like, oh, Jin can't do it, man. He's not good enough. And then you see stuff like this, and it's just like, you're a Jin main, bro. Yeah, but it seems like he goes through this sad boy phase, like, you know, once a month, bro. <laughs> Oh, what it's, a... it's the curse of being, you, you have to be just like Jin. You just gotta have to be a little oh. bit self-deprecating. But great hop kick from Daniel Mato. He's gonna end it with the Zen 1-3, trying to rush up on him for some Oki. But the Savage up 4-3. Roger gets on the board in this game too. Yeah, really good stuff there by Roger Maxis, you know, still in the game here. You know, here's uh, one game up. But, you know, Daniel Mato playing really well right now, putting the pressure on. Trying to get the trade. Yeah. Nice trade. The pressure again, good throw break. You know, throw break has been on point today from both of these players. The crouch cancel funny. Ooh, another one? Oh, lots of forward four again. Wow. Yeah, and again, you like that down back four starts being way more of a risk against Jin. Oh Ooh, my god, no! The needle with the rage drive. Can he kill? No way. Just a little bit short. Oh! He oh. the string, but. So smart of Daniel Motto. That down four, one plus two. The headbutt is a high. Yeah. If he had simply autopiloted the wall standing four, he would have gotten beat it out. So just stayed ducking and punished it with a full crouch four. Incredible there. You know, one big decision there. One good decision by uh, Daniel Motto. Puts him back in the game and back in contention and moving forward in this loser side. But yeah, really, really smart there to do a down four in that situation. Anything else? And it would have been GG's, right? Yeah. You know, like your first instinct, I block a low, I'm going to punish with my wall standing. Standing four. always, yeah. And it's like, you know, that's why Roger Max has continued the string to try to beat out that option. But then it turned into a whole situation of I know that you know that I know. And that's, yeah. that's fighting games, man. That's when fighting games are really cool to me. Yeah, you know, you love to see it here. But it's very, very even here. And now... Is he gonna go to the Shaheen? Yeah, are we gonna bet it final game? Are we gonna bet it on a battle of the main characters? Yeah, let's see. And look at the crowd getting hyped there as well. You know, the crowd loving it. They've got the, the what's these red stuff called again? I forgot, you know, the little... Uh, the Thunderstick? Oh, thunder, oh, Thunderstick's yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. You, you, see them, you see them in football games and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, No, I, I feel like in, in America they have them in the football yeah, games. Yeah, right? here, like, I've, I've not seen it too much. I mean, I was talking what? about your football, yeah. not my football. Yeah, yeah, what, what are they called again? Thundersticks. Thundersticks. Yeah, yeah. That's what I, that, I don't know if that's what they're officially called. That's like <laughs> the, the nickname for yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're always fun to use. But again, yeah, big shout-outs, you know. Bandai Namco, you know, putting on a great show here in the European Tekken Cup. You know, the finale here in Madrid at Gamergy. You know, very, very high-level players all trying to win the championship here in the final Tekken 7 EU Cup. You know, we're, we're going into, you know, Tekken 8 very soon. Exciting times for everyone, you know, we're, I'm, we're looking to see. I'm very happy that, you know, we have events like these. Yeah, obviously, sure. TWC Screw next week. Yes. It really feels like we're... We're, uh, you know, putting off Tekken 7 on a really high note yeah, for sure. going into the next game. But we do see the Shaheen here coming out for this final game three. Oh, Is it the nice. right yeah. choice? The loser of this will be unlimited from the tournament. Daniel Mato looking real good with these hell sweeps with that counter hit. Get up three, finds the mark. And Roger Max is trying to pressure the Jin, but the one plus two throw, great choice. Gets it broken and switches sides. Yeah, you know, great pressure by Daniel Mardo. And as soon as I say that, you know, Roger Maxis, really nice rage drive there. What's the mix up here? Very, very close by both players. 
Watch Maxis tried to push the back two there. The running what? two is Shaheen. The move that everybody thought was useless when yeah. they gave it to him won him that crucial first round in game three. Yeah, I haven't seen that move in so long. You know, really good stuff. And now going for the slide mix ups, you know, trying to enforce his game, going into that range zero, and it seems to be working against Daniel here. And uh, that's what you. Duck and wild standing two. <laughs> You were talking about the wall standing twos as well, you know, really good stuff. Bunch of them out so quickly. Oh. And uh, after that really close first round, taking the momentum and a perfect in the second round with the Shaheen, Roger Max is one round away from eliminating his countryman, Daniel Motto, and the counter hit 4-1. Gonna get the wall split here, just a little bit too close. Yeah, Roger Max is playing really well here, gets a counter hit four there. But messes up the combo. All right, but back against the wall, though. This is super close. One mistake here. It's going to cost the players a lot of life here. But small pokes from Roger Max is really good stuff. Both with down forward two. So the down forward two connects oh, now mark. from Shaheen. Enough to kill if he gets a clean wall splat. Yes, he does. Boom, boom. Oh, no. Double down forward two. Oh. But the back one at the end. Three rounds apiece. Bringing out the business character with the Shaheen. Roger Maxis moves on oh. over Daniel Mato. Yeah, really good stuff there. You know, congratulations to Roger Maxis, both the players, you know, talking there. You know, it's always hard eliminating someone from the same, you know, country as yeah. you. Know, you travel, like, it's like going, you know, I think it was, uh, you know, Combo Breaker or something before where there was uh, loads of, like, UK team.